Hey everyone, welcome to chapter 12, and today we're talking about third declension neuter, and also third declension neuter I stems. We're talking about the two variations of third declension neuter nouns today. Uh, and we're going to start by talking about uh, third declension neuter. Okay. And to talk about this, I'm just going to set up the endings first with all the five cases. So I'm going to abbreviate these nominative, genitive, dative accusative, ablative, and singular, and plural. All right, so if we're talking about the nominative, we're going to draw a line because the endings for third declension neuter nouns vary, although there are more definite patterns than what we see with regular third declension, but just for now we'll put a line there to say that the nominative varies. The genitive is is, short is, so is, Dative is a long I, pronounced E. Accusative, we're going to draw a line. Uh, or we could say same as nominative. Remember that in neuter, gender, nominative and accusative is always the same. That's how it is in second declension neuter. And then ablative is an E. So really, the only difference between a third declension neuter noun and a regular third declension noun is that the nominative and the accusative are the same. Okay, the plural is an A, just like the plural of second declension neuter. Uh, genitive plural is a U-M, so M. Uh, dative plural is Ibus. Accusative plural is A, or an A. Again, in accusative uh, and in, th in neuter, nominative and accusative are always the same. And then ablative is Ibus. Okay, uh, and so here are endings. We have a varies for nominative, is, e, and then same as nominative, and then e, eh, and then the plural a, um, ibus, a, ibus. So if we make some observations about third declension uh, neuter, we can see that, of course, nominative and accusative are the same. Uh, nominative and accusative plurals and in A. And we can also see that the dative and ablative plural are the same, ibus. And remember that dative and ablative plural are the same for every declension. Okay, so I'm going to give you a couple, uh, or at least one, example of a third declension neuter noun. There are actually two in this chapter. Uh, and our model noun is going to be nomen. Of course, nomen means name. So it's nomen nominis. And just like with uh, some th uh, third declension masculine nouns, the E changes to an I in the genitive. That's really important. So nomen, nominus, neuter, name. Okay, I'm going to set up my chart with all five cases. And singular and plural. Okay, I actually have a nominative, so that's nomen, so that's going to go here. And I have a genitive, that's nominus, that's going to go here. And then to form the base of the noun, I take away the genitive singular ending, which is is, same as any other declension. And I'm just going to write the base throughout the chart. And then once I write the base throughout the chart, I'm just going to add the endings in order to decline the noun. So I have nomen, nominis, nomini. Oh, actually, here I should not have written the base, of course, because uh, nominative and accusative are the same. So this is going to be nomen. 
and then in the ablative, nomine. So nomen, nominis, nomini, nomen, nomine. Where these two, nominative and accusative, are the same because it's neuter. Okay, in the plural, nomina, nominum, nominibus, nomina, nominibus. Okay, and so we've declined a noun in third declension neuter. Uh, the other third declension neuter noun we have in this chapter is caput, which means head. So it's caput, capitis, neuter, head. Okay, let's move on to uh, third neuter eye stems. Okay, just like we did for third neuter, we're going to give the endings for these for each case. So, nominative, genitive, dative, accusative, and ablative. And then, of course, up top for our number, singular and plural. Okay, uh, the nominative we could say varies, but there are actually three distinct endings. E, A, L, or A, R. Uh, genitive is, of course, is. Dative E, uh, accusative, we'll say same as nominative, but again, it's either going to end in E, A, L, or A, R. And then ablative is a long I, E. That's different from any other ending in third declension so far that we've had. Usually third declension, ablative singular is an E. In neuter I stems, it changes to an I. Okay, think of I like I stem. Okay, in the plural, it's an I-A, so E-A. Uh, genitive plural is I-U-M, E-U-M, just like regular masculine and feminine I stems. Dative is Ibus. Accusative E-A, or same as nominative. And then ablative Ibus. So for making observations here, we can see that uh, in the singular, dative and ablative are the same. Uh, nominative and accusative are the same. Nominative plural and accusative plural are the same. And dative and ablative plural are the same for neuter I stems. Okay, now let's do an example of a neuter I stem. Okay, let's use the word animal. Animal. animalis, a uh, neuter, and of course it just means animal. Okay, so we'll set up the five cases. Okay, and singular and plural. Okay, so the nominative is going to be animal, uh, genitive, animalis. Okay, and then we're going to take away the genitive singular ending to get the base, which is animal. Okay, and then I'm going to write the base all throughout the chart. And of course, after I write the base, I'm going to put the endings on the base in order to decline the noun. Okay, so animal, uh, animalis, animali. We're going to keep the accusative as animal, because remember, nominative and accusative are the same in neuter. And then ablative animali. Okay, so neuter I stems have an I in the ablative singular. And the plural, animalia. Uh, genitive plural animalium, dative plural animalibus, uh, accusative plural animalia, and ablative plural animalibus. Okay, and so for all of these, the translations are the same as if we were to decline a first declension noun. So uh, let's go through all the translations. So nominative animal would be the animal, or a animal. 
animalis would be of the animal or the animals, uh, pashfies, like possession. Animali would be to or for the animal. Uh, animal in the accusative would be the animal as a direct object, as in like I see the animal. And ablative would be by or with or maybe even from the animal. Okay, and then the plural is uh, the same translations except we make the English word plural. So animalia would be the animals, animalium of the animals, animalibus two or four the animals, uh, animalia the animals, and animalibus uh, by, with, or from the animals. Okay, and that's it for third declension neuter and neuter eye stems. Uh, so thanks for tuning in and looking forward to next time.